one of the real drawbacks about living in the city is that you have to drive so damn far to get to decent roads. I need to drive basically an hour, well, 45 minutes in any direction to get out of the city and actually get onto some decent roads, which is actually a bit of a pain. One of these days I'd like to have a lovely place in the country where rather than having to drive for 45 minutes before we, we even get anywhere. Anyway, I thought I'd do this quick video about an issue uh, which may trip a lot of people up if they're new to Ferraris, especially the 360 and other uh, cars that use a similar kind of engine design. If you're not aware of this particular issue, then you could end up uh, not replacing a very inexpensive part and uh, trashing your entire gearbox clutch and differential. So I've learned this from uh, painful experience, as you may have seen from my other videos, which I will link up here. I had uh, some issues with the gearbox and transmission on this car, uh, but I didn't notice it uh, when I first got the car and it wasn't picked up on the pre-purchase inspection. So the first sign that something was wrong was that there was a little bit of oil creeping into the coolant and you could see this by taking off the top of the coolant reservoir and you can dip your finger in or a rag or something and you can see a kind of oily deposit on the rag. That is the first sign that the heat exchanger, the gearbox heat exchanger is starting to fail. I kept driving the car despite this and that turned out to be a huge mistake because when that heat exchanger starts to fail, not only do you get oil in the coolant, but you also get coolant in the oil. And now that oil circulates around the gearbox and the differential. And as a result of that, both of those items were pretty much destroyed. So there was an issue with the synchro rings on the gearbox and the uh, limited slip differential had almost completely collapsed, fallen apart and had to be replaced as you, as you will have seen. So I'll give you a little bit of information about this oil water heat exchanger. Uh, there's a page in the uh, owner's manual here uh, which has a diagram which I'll show you um, and it describes it thus gearbox oil cooling circuit uh, the temperature of the gearbox differential oil is controlled by an oil water heat exchanger positioned between the head water outlet manifold and the water pump in the diagram you can see there is a pipe uh, running from the gearbox to the heat exchanger and then one coming straight back it's fairly simple uh, and that is the process by which the temperature of the oil in the gearbox and the differential, which is basically all one unit, uh, is controlled. So uh, obviously if there's any leak in that heat exchanger, it will allow water to uh, enter into the gearbox and differential and vice versa. So obviously it's a fairly important piece of uh, equipment in the engine, uh, although I have read that a lot of the issues with this particular component arise from um, the coolant and the oil breaking down, which then uh, causes corrosion in the heat exchanger. So I think the key piece of information really is to ensure that you check your coolant and you check your oil. And if either of those look to be old or contaminated, change them as soon as possible so that it doesn't cause any corrosion. To the moral of the story here is that a very inexpensive part, you know, maybe a few hundred dollars heat exchanger, maybe a thousand. Um, if that's not replaced and it fails, it can cause a catastrophic failure of the gearbox. With one of these cars where you've got a gearbox heat exchanger, you must ensure that as soon as you start seeing oil in that uh, coolant water, that you change that heat exchanger. The advice that I've read on uh, forums is that if you if you ensure that you're, you're checking your oil every six months or so you know just every now and again take the cap off have a look just dip a rag in there see if you see and see any oil um, deposits on the surface and if you do um, get that heat exchanger checked out because it could save you a lot of money down the track anyway uh, I hope you found this video interesting just a quick one um, if you did enjoy it don't forget to do all the usual here here and here and here and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye for now